Oh, Peggy, do you mind if I sit there? I just want to grasp every moment and make up the last time. No. No, of course not. It'll be my pleasure. Oh, this is nice. A Walford. Well, we like it. Oh, you must come and stay, Peggy. I have wonderful restaurants within walking distance. Two of them Michelin starred. Oh, I'd love to. I'd love a bit of Hope cuisine. <laughs> Tell me something, Glenda. What made you settle in France? Well, apart from the food, um, it was the climate, the language, and the men. <laughs> well, you know what they say about the French, some of the best lovers in the world. Yeah, if you like the smell of garlic fags and coffee. Well, is there anyone special in your life at the moment? Oh, not since Jean-Paul. Who? Oh, he was so handsome and kind, and uh, he wanted me to marry him, but on condition I give up the business. He would have done anything, anything for me at all. Oh, I would have thought you'd have jumped at the chance. Oh, no, Peggy, my, my independence is far too important. I, I had to say goodbye. Oh, you've changed your tune. You was only interested in Archie because of the size of his wallet. <coughs> I gave Archie the best years of my youth. Besides, money is meaningless without a family to share it with, which is why I've come home to my girls. I just hope it's not too late. Oh, thank you. That was gorgeous. I'm completely stuffed. Oh, well, my, my bouillabaisse was... Um, a little disappointing. It, it lacked the authenticity of genuine French cuisine. Well, I had a lovely meal, and it was very generous of you. Mm. Wasn't it, Mum? It's my pleasure, Philip. I've got some brandy back at the house. We can go back for a nightcap. Yep, sounds good to me. <laughs> well, I'll walk you home, and then I'll get back for Ben. Uh, oh, well, there seems to be a problem with my card. I don't, I don't understand. Let, let me try again. That's all right. I can take care of it. Uh, no, you don't. Uh, give us a minute, will you, mate? I'm just leaving it, will you? No, I've kept my mouth shut long enough. What are you on about? Oh, God, I thought you had a bit more savvy. Artie kicks it, and here she is, Lady Muck, out to impress with ludicrous tales of Michelin star restaurants, French millionaires, and waving a credit card without any credit. You're a phony, and you always have been. Hold on a second. Peggy, how can you say that? I saw what was in your suitcase. It all was brand spanking new. You had to leave your past behind in a hurry, and I want to know why. But it's not like that. <laughs> a French designer friend of mine heard that I was going to be reunited with my daughters, and he just wanted me to look my best. Oh, and who was that then? Jean Paul Flaming Gaultier? Oh, that's enough. Can't you see how upset she is? I mean, they're just samples on loan. I'll return them when I get home. Oh. Nice story, but that doesn't explain the credit card. You're a joke. Oh, do you know? <laughs> I just realised I gave him an old card past its expiry date. I, I've got to take it out of my purse. Um, I, I'm so sorry. Uh, that one should be fine. 